One of the interesting things about respiratory therapy is it's a relatively new career. So it is constantly evolving, constantly changing with upgrades in technology, new research. Um, one of the things that I've noticed greatly that changed was after the pandemic, a lot of people were more aware of what a respiratory therapist was. They had heard about ventilators, they had heard about COVID-19, they knew about intensive care units. From an evolution standpoint, it's really interesting to see the profession change from something that you really had to explain what the job was to a position that now I can say I'm a respiratory therapist and at least within North America, most people know exactly what that is. Working with ventilators, helping people breathe and improving patients' lives. In year one and two, we go to the hospital for a month, and then in year three, we are completely out there trying to gain clinical skills. So year one is a soft launch. We are, we're introduced, we're not involved in a lot of, in the decision making, yes, but not in the skill part. We're witnessing what the, the actual respiratory therapists are doing, and we're trying to soak in that kind of skill and practice and be introduced to that clinical setting. And then in second year, our instructors try to get us to do more and more as we learn more. In third year, you're out there all year, you're trying to uh, practice those clinical and decision-making skills that you have learned. There's always feedback from your instructors, from your preceptors, and also from the clinical service leads, and that, that's how you hone your skills throughout the program. What I like about respiratory therapy is that it's very specific and I feel like the work that we do, no other profession really does or has as much knowledge on. Something that I find particularly interesting is vent management. It was one of my favorite courses going through the program. And I really just like how it involves a lot of different factors of like pathophysiology and also just finding what works best for our patients and making sure that they still feel comfortable. And I also really enjoyed the clinical simulations course that we had at the end of our second year. I feel like that really brought all of our knowledge together. And at first it was a little bit different and I had to kind of adjust to that. But with practice, I think, it was really beneficial to growing the skills that we need for our clinical experience. I went into respiratory therapy because I wanted a job that wasn't a traditional medical job. Uh, I knew that um, the University of Manitoba was offering a entry to practice English speaking degree program and it was one of the only ones in Canada at the time so it was very unique to take on a program like that. Um, I enjoyed the blend of critical thinking and technical skills. I still wanted to be a member of the healthcare team. I just wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do in that healthcare team. I knew I didn't want to be a nurse, I knew I didn't want to be a doctor, but I wanted a job that was still heavily involved in specialties, technology, and improving patients' outcomes. Entering the RT program, I felt so much support from my peers and my instructors. Once I graduate, I'm really excited to start working and get into routine, have a place in the hospital where I feel comfortable and I have a role to play every day. Right now, it's a little bit different as a student. You're kind of getting a taste of what your career could look like in each hospital, but I'm excited to pick a hospital at the end of the day and really just launch my career. With a University of Manitoba bachelor's degree, you can get a master's degree and a PhD later in life. You can work in research, you can um, explore other areas of clinical care, such as anesthesia assistant, um, a clinical service lead, or work in pulmonary function lab. Another interesting thing about the University of Manitoba Respiratory Therapy Program is that it's within the College of Rehabilitation Sciences, so you get that sense of a smaller community within a larger university atmosphere as well. After doing a little bit of research, I thought that it would be a good match for me, so I took a shot and applied to the program, and here I am now in my third year.